Hi, I'm Shannon Kringen. And I'm Goddess Kring. And I am Shannon Kringen and Goddess Kring. Integrated into one whole person. And I want to talk to you about art, identity, and the sacred, and how I see them as related. What is art? Art, for me, is a creative urge that I feel in my body. I feel it in my hands. And I feel my, my overall body feels an urge to create. So for me, art is a natural urge. And I can't imagine living without creating art. I cannot imagine what my life would be without art, without the creative process. I paint abstractly. I paint onto shoes. And I'm mostly a creative photographer. I also write poetry. And I do very spontaneous improvisational photography. I read an article in the Transpersonal Psychology Journal recently that compared creative photography to a form of Taoism in terms of being in the present moment, being unattached to the outcome, being open to whatever is there in reality and responding to it. And so the kind of improvisational, spontaneous, creative art that I make, whether I'm painting or taking a photograph, or even this video right now, I'm improvising. I have kind of an idea of what I'm going to say, but I'm improvising. And so this is in the present moment. I'm responding as it is. And to me, that's partly what my art is. And it's me with having an intention of creating something. And I use art as it's a container. I think for me, art, my own art, is it's a container that I create and I put things into. My, my artistic process is like a container and it's also like a bridge, which takes me to the next step. So what is art? Art is a container. Art is a bridge. Art is a spontaneous, impro improvisational, creative act. And it feels natural. What is identity? Identity, having a sense of self. Part of the reason why I love to do art is because I'm searching for myself. And so I mentioned earlier, art is a container and a bridge. I'm looking for myself. A line from one of my poems goes, fragile sense of self, intangible desire for wealth. And when I say wealth, I don't mean money. I mean feeling rich, feeling full and rich and confident and, and having a self-esteem and being sure of myself. And like when I say self, I mean beyond just my ego self. Sure, we all have egos. But there's a deeper self beyond the ego and the essence and the soul of my being. And that's kind of what I really want to get in touch with. So identity. I partly use my art to find myself. And the paradox is that in order to find myself, I must lose myself. Because the more I try to find myself, the more I seem to feel lost. And if I let go and relax... I find myself when I lose myself in doing something that I love, making art. Then I find myself as soon as I stop looking for myself and I'm just doing what I love. Then I find myself because I am my authentic self. One of my poems is Authentic Ejaculation of My Soul. Molten orange liquid glow. Fusion drives illusion to erosion. Erosion guides fusion to explosion. So identity is having a self 
and a self beyond the ego self. But the ego self is part of who I am. But beyond that, the deeper sense of self so that I may feel connected with others. Okay, now what is the sacred? The sacred. For me, the sacred is doing what I love. Anything that I love and respect and I think of as sacred. So, when I make art, I'm partly looking for myself and I'm doing what I love. And if I'm doing what I love and I feel a sense of self, I then feel happy and content and I want to share with others. So I take my introspective nature and my inward focus on my creative process in my own psyche, listening to my inner thoughts and my creative imagination and my dreams, and I create art from that, and I partly do it to look for myself, and then, so that's the art and the identity part, the sacred comes in when I, when I feel inspired and joyful and happy and content because I did what I love and found myself by losing myself and doing what I love and then I share that with others so I would call that the sacred art identity and the sacred so art is the container and to that I pour myself into and then art becomes the bridge because I find myself by losing myself and doing what I love and then I take that, so I take the art, the identity, and then I connect it with the sacred, which is that I connect to other people around me by sharing them, sharing with them my art. And engaging in conversation and dialogue. And so then it becomes sacred because it connects me to that which is beyond my individual self but I can't do that unless I have a sense of self. I don't really have a lot to give other people unless I feel like I have a sense of self. So I make my art because I love it and it's natural for me. And then I, I find myself by losing myself in doing what I love. And then I take that and I share it. And so then it becomes the sacred. So art, identity, and the sacred. And the next point I wanted to make is nature. Art, identity, and the sacred all fall under the category of being natural, of being a very natural, instinctual thing for me. And one of my favorite artists, his name was Hunderwasser. He's an Austrian artist. He passed away in the year 2000. He was an abstract painter, self-taught, and he was an architect, and he was a philosopher. And he believed that making art was just a naturally occurring thing for himself and for everyone else who makes art. And he, he believed that buildings should be in harmony with nature. And his abstract paintings mimicked the shapes that you see in plants and trees and natural forms and organic forms and shapes. And he created buildings which look kind of like they would grow out of the ground in terms of the shapes, the organic natural shapes. And he believed that, that buildings that look like they grew from the earth would have a positive psychological effect on human beings. And I would agree. I took a train to Vienna, Austria just to see his museum. There's this beautiful building in Vienna, Austria that's the Hunderwasser Museum. And he designed it. And on the inside of it is all of his paintings, or a whole bunch of his paintings. And there's an indoor waterfall. And there is many, many indoor plants. Ivy growing all over the place, really high ceilings. There's a cafe and a museum. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous place. And there's rooftop gardens. He believed in having, um, Hunter, Hunterwasser believed in having hummus toilets, which are good for the earth. And having buildings that were green and eco-friendly and in harmony with the earth, which ties in with my theme of nature. For a living, I'm a figure model. 
Hunter Wasser was an only child, and so am I. Hunter Wasser was kind of a loner, and so am I. Hunter Wasser was into being nude and being a naturist, so am I. And plants and animals in nature, I really, really love being in nature. I find that very healing. I find creating art and being with plants and animals and, and observing nature, observing how the ecosystem works is very psychologically balancing and healing and grounding for me and I think many other human beings. And so art identity and the sacred all kind of fits under the umbrella of nature and trusting the wisdom of nature and your instincts. And I think that's very, very healing to be in tune with the ecosystem, plants, animals, your own natural desires, your own natural body. So Hunter Wasser, I want to show you a few examples of his work. And I want to show you some of my artwork and some of my music will be the audio for the slides that you're going to see of my artwork. There's Hunderwasser, the man himself, the Austrian artist Hunderwasser that I admire so much. There's one of his buildings in a European city, and here's one of his paintings with the organic forms and shapes that mimic kind of an oniony shape with plants. And there's a building actually that has a rooftop garden that you can walk on. Hello. Oh. 
So I hope that you enjoyed seeing my artwork and Hunderwasser and hearing some of my experimental music. That was some of my poetry and also my voice backwards. I'm kind of fascinated by the abstract audio sounds of my voice backwards. It kind of reminds me, actually I was in Norway and it reminds me of the Norwegian language. My voice backwards sort of sounds Scandinavian to me and I am Norwegian myself. My ancestors came from Norway and Ireland mostly. And I would like to say thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and were inspired by it. And I invite you to do what you love because the bottom line is art identity and the sacred is all connected and natural. But really my overall message is it's important for human beings I think to do more of what they love because if more people are doing what they love, then there'll be less anger and violence in the world. And for me, it's a sacred path for me to, to make art and share it with others. That's my bliss, that's what I love. Um, and because of my art projects, actually, I've had amazing synchronicity happen because of my whole Goddess Kring persona, which I had a public access TV show for 15 years on TV every week called Goddess Kring. And I was interviewed by a bunch of different publications and I got into the book Weird Washington and I got sent to Europe a bunch of times. Fans of mine who appreciate my work um, ended up sending me to Europe and I actually uh, published my own book called Art Identity and the Sacred which I have for sale on my website if you're interested in that. And I just ask me or look for the link, uh, shannonkringen.com. And um, because of my art projects, because, you know, in, in some ways I'm kind of shy and afraid of, of uh, reaching out to people, but my artwork has given me a bridge 
to connect with others and to connect with the world around me and not be isolated. So art for me, and I got into figure modeling because of my art and meeting other artists and figure modeling, I've been doing it for 21 years and it supports me. So figure modeling and traveling and amazing synchronicity, all because I was doing what I loved, which was to make art, to make video, to share it with people, to paint, to write poetry, to take photos, put it on my website, share it with as many people as I possibly can. And I've had a, a tremendous amount of success in terms of networking and traveling and synchronicity and just amazing experiences. And it's all because of my art, all because of my creative work. And that has opened more doors for me than doing more conventional type things. So I'm curious to see where my career will take me. I'm not sure. Uh, now that I've earned my BA degree, I'm thinking, where am I going to go? Maybe I'll get a master's. I don't know what I'm really going to do, but I just know that if I follow my heart and I keep doing what I love, that'll lead me to where I want to go. So I, I, my message is to follow your heart and listen to your heart and do what you love and trust that that's going to lead you where you need to go. So art identity and the sacred is really about doing what you love. That's my version of me doing what I love. And so I urge you to get in touch with what your version is of doing what you love and then do that and shine your light in the world. And that will take you where you need to go and that will make the world a better place. That's what I believe. So thank you. My name is Shannon Kringen. Thank you, Goddess Kring. Thank you for listening.